Good morning. I'm here at Banborough Castle, just over there. It's about quarter past five in the morning. Summer I should be over here somewhere, but it's covered in cloud. I'm staying in the camper van about four miles that way. The lights you see in the distance just here. Sea houses and I'm the other side of there. So it's up at quarter past four this morning. And it looks like I'm not gonna get the sunrise I wanted. Just see the colour above this. First layer of cloud. Anyway, I'll get some of this set up, see what pictures I can get. So I've got this composition here. Let's see that. These three rocks in the middle here. It's a foreground. Looking over to Banbury Castle. Unfortunately, sunrise hasn't really happened. These islands over here, you might just be able to see foreign islands. And then over here in the mist is Holy Island. I was hoping there'd be a bit more colour in the uh, sky, but never mind. We'll see how this turns out. F11, 17 to 40 lens, focusing on this rock here, hopefully that turns out nice. So it's about half six now. Um, heading back to where I've left my bike. Rode out here this morning. Lovely coastline. Nice sandy beach. The sun's trying to come out. Not quite. Head back, have some breakfast. See what else happens. Over in the distance is the, the old fortification of the coast, Bamburgh Castle. And there's the uh, new version. Old pill box. There's another one buried in the sand down here as well. This is my transport for the morning. Folding by. Fits neatly in the camper van, so it's dead, dead easy to transport rather than putting a bike rack on the back and it's quicker than walking heading back towards sea houses far islands over there and the behind me at least it's not raining Hoping that sun pops between the clouds and the horizon. Fingers crossed. So you saw me at Bramber Castle this morning. A mile back where I'm staying, which is over here. Um, sea houses is there. You might just be able to make out the castle right on the horizon over here.
one is just starting to come out beneath the clouds over there. Uh, yeah, so Beadnell is over that direction, Sea Houses is just here. And this is the view at the minute, just on the sand dunes above the beach. Just about to see sunset. It's looking pretty good. And we've got the 24-25. F11 uh, Composed to get this uh, farm silo in over here This tree line, sunset and this cloud Right, let's concentrate Two second time, I've got down on to F13 to create a bit of a uh, sun star effect. I was hoping it would light up the clouds, but maybe not. I've already checked the crossing times and we're good until the uh, late afternoon. It won't be too much of a shame if we've got trapped over here for the night. Just spent a couple of hours on uh, at Linda's farm, it's over there, on Holy Island. I've ended up coming away because so many people, the car park's crazy. Shame you can't camp here overnight. Still on the sun dune, on the main road, the causeway in and out. I should be heading to um, Kielder Water tonight. They let you park overnight on their uh, car parks. We'll see what happens. So this is part one of a trip I did recently. Uh, part two will include a couple of nights at Kielder Water and around Kielder Forest and a night on the Yorkshire Dales around the moors. Um, I haven't edited any of the pictures yet so I'll leave a link in the description for all my socials if you want to have a look. And uh, as usual thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment. And uh, part two will be out next week, hopefully.